Hello YouTube, welcome to another Magnum Videos episode and today we're going to talk about how to save underexposed video footage. So stick around because I'm going to show you some examples of how to do it. I'll be right back. All right, if you're a videographer, you're familiar with ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. But there are some things that you can do to make your video footage better by manipulating those in a certain way. So, first of all, if you have a dimly lit interior and you want it to come out bright and inviting, like in a real estate interior, you can open the f-stop uh, all the way up to get in as much light as possible. The only problem with that is that it's going to make your depth of field much shallower, which means that there's not going to be as much of your uh, image in focus. Another thing you can do is to crank up your ISO. The downside of that is that the higher you move your ISO, the more likely you are to introduce noise or grain into your final image. And the third thing you can do, even with video, is to uh, slow down your shutter speed. Now, typically the 180 rule says that if you're shooting at uh, 30 frames per second, you need to have a 1 60th of a second shutter speed. Now, if you slow down your shutter speed to a 30th, that's going to let twice as much light in on each frame. The downside of that is that it might introduce some jerkiness, especially if you speed it up or slow it down excessively. So I'm going to show you how to take a what would normally look like an unusable piece of footage and alter it uh, by editing. Now, what I did on this was I shot the image so that it looks really underexposed in the viewfinder. And when you look at the footage, it is underexposed. But I did that intentionally because I wanted to keep my uh, ISO down as low as possible. I wanted to keep my f-stop uh, number as high as possible so that I had the shallowest aperture or the narrowest aperture so that my depth of field would be deeper. And I slowed down the shutter to half of what it should be. So let me show you the initial footage and then I will show you how I altered it in the editing uh, post-production process. So here it is. ISO 400, F8, shutter speed 1 30th of a second. ISO 400 f6.3 1 50th of a second shutter speed
And there you have it. I hope that was helpful. There, there are a lot of things that you can uh, manipulate with your ISO, your shutter speed, and your aperture. So just because your footage comes out dull or dark uh, doesn't mean that it's a total loss. And if your footage comes out with your depth of field being way too shallow, close that aperture down and make some other adjustments or take care of it in post-processing. So I think that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. I hope you'll leave a comment or a question and uh, let me know what you think. So until I speak with you again, even after that, you stay focused.